Welcome back to Outlaw Woodworking. You know, this rock that you see in the picture right here, I found this rock over a year ago in um, one, of the, one of the lots that I'm developing to build another house on. It, um, it's got a lot of rocks. And I found this one and I, and I just could not move it out of this hole. And it's a beautiful rock and I, and I just, I wanted to use it for landscaping and stuff, but I just didn't know how to get it out of the hole. So I did some research and I came across this product called Dexpan. And this says it has 18,000 PSI expansive strength. And so I thought, okay, I, I did, I watched a few YouTube videos and it showed this, this, it's basically an expanding grout. So you're not using explosives. You're just, you basically drill some holes, you know, along, along the line that you want it to crack in. And you, you mix this stuff up and pour it into those holes. And 24 hours later, it's very possible that it could crack your rack, rock in half. So I decided I just wanted to, I, you know, I think, I think if I crack it pretty close to in half, my excavator could get it out of that hole and I could use it for some really nice landscaping rocks because, you know, nice rocks are actually really expensive. So, so today what we're going to do, this is going to be probably a three day video because today what we're going to do, and it might take me a couple of days because I need to drill, I'm going to drill some one inch holes. I'm going to use my Bosch roto hammer. And I'm going to drill them like every six inches across this rock as deep as I can. And I think my drill bit, I could probably drill about 18 inches down and drill all the way across. And then we're going to mix this uh, dex pan up, pour it in the holes, and then wait 24 hours and see what happens. Let's get started. There he goes, it's a working man. He's trying to make a living any way he can. He'll break his back for a buck too. Oh, there ain't no shame in what he do. Oh, work it out. The first thing I do is put my headphones on and try to find where I want to crack this thing. And I kind of decided on this little spot right here. It seemed like there was a little bit of a natural thing going through there but I wasn't really sure. It just looked like a good spot. And I wanted both, I wanted to use both sides of this rock for landscaping. So I kind of try to do it right in the middle, as close to the middle as possible. And right here, I just start drilling and I'm using a, a pretty big Bosch rotor hammer and a one inch bit. And I basically just start drilling this rock. Once I actually got all the holes drilled across this top in the center of the rock, I thought about it and I, of course, I'm not experienced with Dexpan and I, I kind of thought about it. I thought, you know, after I come across the top, I'll flip this rock sideways and drill another row of holes through the other side of it. And so I got my excavator and I brought it over and I flipped it sideways and then I proceeded to drill drill holes across this other side in the same same spot. So I basically had holes drilled on two, two sides of this rock. And I don't believe that I needed to do that, but I did it and everything worked out. Once I, once I finished all the drilling, it was time to mix the Dexapan. And the first thing I do is clean out all the holes. And of course that was pretty messy. Uh, kind of reminds me of concrete dust. This rock is a pretty heavy rock. I don't know what it's made out of or what kind of rock it is, but it's definitely a tough rock. But I, I go ahead and I blow out all the holes. And obviously this video is for entertainment purposes only. Wear a mask. I'm basically holding my shirt over my face. But um, yeah, I clean out all the holes and then um, proceed to mix this dex pan. Once I had everything clean, I got some clean water, some measuring cup for the water, and basically I followed the instructions and 
it took um, basically one bag, which was an 11 pound bag, took 50 ounces of water. So I measured, a, I got a measuring cup and I measured out right around 50 ounces of water and then and then used this paddle bit and mixed it up. It was pretty, pretty thin mixture. I mean, the amount of water um, with this 11 pound bag, it made a really thin mixture. So it poured, when I, when I was finished mixing and I went to pour it through my funnel, it was really thin and poured really easy. And I didn't realize, I mixed one bag, but I probably could have mixed a half a bag to fill all these, whole, probably a half a bag would have cracked this whole rock. But my intention was, I thought that, I thought this rock was so big that it wasn't really gonna crack in this first try, and that I was gonna to have to flip it sideways and pour the dex pan in the other holes that I drilled in the side. And right here, I'm actually having to plug a couple of those side holes because it was running out the side. And um, yeah, that didn't help me very much, but all in all, everything actually worked out really well. After I get after I get the dex pan poured in all the holes, it was then time to wait 24 hours and see what happens. 24 hours later. Wow, I am very shocked actually. It cracked this giant boulder all the way down. So even though I drilled these holes on the side, by just doing the top, it had cracked this whole thing. So I'm hopeful that today, this is a beautiful rock, by the way. But I, I'm hopeful that today I can actually just grab my excavator, grab that front half, and these two rocks will be some landscaping in my yard. That is very impressive, actually. So this was 24 hours later. It cracked it right in half. Let's check the other side. Here you can see the top of it. Wow, that is really impressive. And it's cracked a pretty nice straight line right down the side.
Thanks very much for watching this episode of Outlaw Woodworking. Um, you can see the drill bit holes, you know, that I, that I went both ways. And um, I think you could get away with just doing it on the top, though. If I had it to do it over again, I would just do one. Now, this side, I did notice how tough that one was to get out with my excavator. And this side's even bigger. So I don't know if we'll end up cutting that one or not anyway i got a long way to travel with this with this rock i gotta go clear up on the other side of the property so thanks very much for watching please subscribe like the video and i'll see you next time later And here's a couple pics of me placing it in its final resting place. Again, thanks very much for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Later. There he goes, it's a working man. He's trying to make a living any way he can. And he'll break it.